think the highlight of this conversation is what you've been able to do with your truck, with your resource and industry, um, which I really wanted to focus on in this conversation was if you could kind of highlight, I'll mention truck convoy, but this is your story. So I wanted to give you the opportunity to share how did the truck convoy come to be? How have you found just the support from industry? I know there's been media news um, kind of all over the place on it, which is exciting. Mm -hmm. but without, I don't want to share too much. I want you to have the open floor. So how, how has that process been? Oh, the convoy started from an idea, of course, with the 215 kids that were found in Kamloops um, a few, like a month or so ago. Um, I got on online on uh, basically Sunday afternoon or Sunday morning after seeing all this. And then um, I think it was Sunday or Monday, I can't remember, one of the days. It's just all such a blur still. So we got on, I got online and I said to my wife, I said, let me see what happens, see if I can get anybody to notice. Because it just was really bothering me, especially being a dad, you know, and I'm sure you're a father too. And just those little ones that have gone missing and there's no answer. Eh? So I said to my wife, I'm going to see what happens. So I put an, a call on, on, online on Facebook on a couple of um, uh, trucking Facebook pages. So long and the short of it, I probably had over a hundred people already responding because they wanted to do something on that Monday morning. Then I reached out to a TV producer that produces Highway Through Hell, uh, Neil Thomas. I don't know if you've heard of him at all. Anyways, and he, uh, he connected me with uh, Jim Beckett out in Merritt. And within maybe a couple days, by Wednesday, we, I don't know how many people were responding and that wanted to be involved. And then um, it all kind of happened organically. So we had uh, members of the RCMP traffic division. They got a hold of me. Mm -hmm. And then the Ministry of Highways, they got a hold of me. And it just, it just went on from there. So we had, I don't know how many people that wanted to be involved. We had people that had their own vehicles, had motorcycles, cars. I think one day we, I don't know, we had um, Nortrans Transportation. They, they gave us coffee and donuts Saturday morning at, at the place in Kelowna. So yeah, it was, it was pretty incredible. Wow. You know, I think in total we had over 380 trucks that day. Wow. Coming from, coming from Kelowna, Merritt and then from Williams Lake. Wow. And what was the route that you guys, what was the full route that was taken? Well, we came from Kelowna to, went through Vernon, Falkland. Okay. And what was really nice to see along the way, like even through parts of Kelowna, we had people on the side of the road with their flags and they're, they're waving. And, and then uh, going through Vernon, we had people on the side of the road you know, honking and waving as well. And we had the whole town of Falkland out that day. Wow. So it was, it was pretty incredible to see. Wow. You know, and uh, yeah, it's uh, something, something we'll never forget. And then when we come into Kamloops, of course, uh, well, the Merritt crew came from Merritt and they went down the highway from Merritt. And then um, they ended up meeting up with um, the Williams Lake crew at the time. And then, um, then we all congregated towards the school wow. that morning. So, but crossing the bridge, you got everybody on the side of the road supporting you. And then crossing the bridge, you see the, the 215 crosses with the clothes on them from the little kids. You know, that's, yeah, that was, that was, uh, that was something, something I'll never forget as long as I live. But then 